Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to math. All right. Last class, we were learning about circles and how to find different shapes inside those circles. Okay. Today, we're going to actually find angles. Okay. Something similar to what we did last class. Last class, we're putting those shapes inside, solving for those arcs. Today, we're going to solve for an angle. There's a specific equation we have to use, okay? But first things first. If I have a circle, okay? On this circle, I have two chords, okay? That's the origin from a vertex. If you guys remember, the origin, the origin is the middle point. A vertex is created by two segments, okay? It can be chords, it can be a ray, it can be any segment that intersects creates a vertex, okay? An angle, in other words. Fancy way of saying that, an angle. So if you have this line that goes from here, from A, and it goes out, okay? It creates a chord in a way where we have A and B. Okay, so from A to B is a chord. If the line continues, okay, it's called, if you guys remember, it's called something that goes through the inside, it's called a secant. Okay, but we have another chord, but not only a chord, it's also a secant in a way. It goes from A, creates another vertex, okay, named C. The circle is named P, okay. When this happens, okay, when you have a circle and you have an angle, okay, that is created by two chords, okay, chord one, or two. It is called an inscribed angle. Okay? Angle A is known as an inscribed angle. The way we find the measurement of this angle, okay? There's a specific equation we have to use. Okay? It is an angle or the find the measurement. The measurement of the angle, okay, which is angle A, equals one half, okay, vertex A, or in this case we're gonna call it vertex B, okay, vertex B, and vertex C, okay, as an arc. So half of the arc B, C. Okay, so we're gonna find measurement A, measurement angle A equals half the arc B, C. For example, okay, very, very simple. If the arc on the outside, okay, was B, C was 45, okay, so BC, the arc, equals 45. We have our arc. We're going to divide it by 2, right? Or we're going to multiply it by 1 half, either 1. Okay? If you're going to multiply it by half, you do 1 and then 1 half. Okay? If you're just going to divide it, just cut 45 in half. Okay? It's still the same thing. That means that once you do the half of the arc, it should give you measurement A. So measurement angle A equals, again, if BC is 45, half of 45 is 22.5. Okay? So the measurement of A is 22.5. Okay, very, very simple concept, okay? What if I were to say measurement angle BC 
the arc is 30. Okay? What would the inside be? The uh, angle. Remember, 30. We cut it in half because BC is 30. Cut it in half is 15. So measurement A will be 15. Okay? Very, very simple. Again. All right. So make sure you write it on the on your notes. Okay? This is almost an inscribe. Angle. Let me write it in there for you guys. In front angle. Okay? We're going to learn a lot about angles, different types of angles. So inscribed angles. That's what we're learning today. All right, so here's your assignment for today, guys. All right? Again, remember the equation, okay? The ones you're gonna find out for is, if I would have arc BC, okay? BC equals 60, what is angle A, okay? And then one more, again, BC, the arc, equals 100, okay? What is the measurement of angle A? All right, guys, don't forget to send your answers as soon as you're done watching the video, and I'll be waiting for your email.